Hello, class. I wanted to talk to you a little bit about leave your name at the border because we didn't have that much time to discuss it in class. And this essay is about assimilation, it's about race, and it's about loss. As you read through it, you see that. You see, as we talked about in class, that he has had to give up part of his Mexican identity in Fresno. And anytime anybody pronounces his name wrong, he just accepts it. He talks about the gate agent who actually, when you look at the way he describes her and the makeup she's wearing, she wore a foundation that was several shades lighter than the rest of her skin. So he says there that he's identifying her with someone who has really tried to assimilate to American culture. So then when she calls Eugenio Reyes, or Eugenio Reyes, or however she did pronounce it to Americanize it, uh, he remarks to himself that her anglicized pronunciation isn't unusual, even though where he lived in Fresno had a large Mexican population. He also mentions how people ask him where he's from. And sometimes when people ask when he's from, where he's from, they think he's going to say Mexico when really he's from Fresno. And people who've had to assimilate into American culture often have to answer questions in that manner or are asked questions in that manner because of the way they look. So he talks more about how he knows English and Spanish, uh, tells us a little bit of, about his background, and he talks about how people are naming their children, Brandon or Caitlin, giving them other Americanized names when they have last names like Trujillo or Zepeda. Um, so he says, these kinds of things erase cultural differences. So these are things that you should think about as you're reading, as you're answering questions, the tension that he has between his beloved culture and the Americanization of that culture, almost like a whitewashing it for lack of a better word. So people, who are immigrants to this country, people who are not native to this country or whose parents or grandparents might not be native to this country can really relate to this. But I think in some ways we can all relate to it um, because when we leave the comfort of our home, our culture and our family, we have to assimilate, we have to blend in as it was as it were. So he goes on and he talks about the anglicization of his name, um, how he was Antonio, but he's known as Tony, um, how his parents actually wanted to name him, uh, if we go to the end of this piece, um, Ricardo, but they did not because he realized, or, or because they didn't, he realized he would have been Ricky or Richard, so his name would have been anglicized even more. So he's proud of his name, but he struggles. He struggles with this uh, adapting to this new culture, um, even though he's been in America, even though he is part of this culture. So this is something for you to think about as you're answering questions here. Um, and we'll see how it goes with that. This is not a difficult piece to read, but you can definitely see the tension as you are reading it. So good luck with your discussion posts and everything else that you're doing this week. And I'll see you soon.